What's going on, people? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Saeed TV. This is your Chelsea reaction. 2-1 in the end. Should not have been 2-1. But Chelsea made it difficult for themselves. But they are now third. So who really cares? <laughs> when you deep it, three points is three points. And Chelsea now sit on 22 points. One point behind Man City, which we'll find out whether they get their win in the end or not. And now they're above Arsenal. And we'll find out what Arsenal will do at home to Nottingham Forest. But they have done their job. First half. It's a game of two halves. First half, for about 35 minutes, Chelsea were in cruise control. Chelsea were dominating the game. Chelsea were having fun. Jao Felix in the half turn, half spaces. You know, there was, you know, Jackson was, was, was running the channels. Chelsea were on it, bro. I had Caicedo moving like... Bro, like, he was a dictator, bro. He was moving everywhere, Caicedo. And, and Chelsea were in control. Leicester were lifeless. They were soulless. But Chelsea did that to them. Chelsea made sure... Chelsea made sure Leicester did not have the ball. They didn't get into their box. They were literally pegged back in. Chances galore. But Chelsea got the goal. And it was from Nicholas Jackson. Brilliant, brilliant endeavour. One thing about Nicholas Jackson is that he does not give up. Woot Fair's terrible. He should clear it. He has three times the chance to clear it. Nicholas Jackson says, you know what? You're not clearing it. I'm going to stick with you. He sticks with him. He peels away from a collie. And it's a lovely finish, like, on the edge of his, of his, of his foot. Delicately goes past the keeper. And Chelsea deservedly go 1-0 up. And from then onwards, they had a couple of moments, an offside goal, but they were just in cruise control. Jao Felix, who I will talk about in a sec, who was amazing, by the way, today. Jao Felix and Enzo Fernandez, who is on the title of the video. He deserves his praise. But Chelsea were very, very dominant until about the 35th minute. And all of a sudden, the Robert Sanchez story happened. Robert Sanchez, the bozo in Robert Sanchez, decided, you know what? One ball over the top that he should have collected He's like shaking, he's panicking. And then, for some reason, it transmitted into the team. It literally transmitted into the team. And then for the next 10 minutes, Leicester were all over Chelsea. They were pressing them. They were harassing them. They were getting in their faces. They were closing the spaces down. They weren't allowing Chelsea to build up from the back. And they were causing problems. There's one moment where Robert Sanchez gets the ball. He whips it into Caicedo. Caicedo then tries to play the ball across the top so that he could get out of the press. It doesn't happen. And Leicester then on just almost stifled the attack of Chelsea. And that almost where the game changed. Because the second half, even though Chelsea had the ball, they weren't really doing anything with it. There was a lot of passing side to side, but there weren't any kind of big moments. And of course, it, it, the game could be different if Madawaker doesn't get out of the way of Cole Palmer. The shot goes in and... By the way, who I thought for me had a poor game today, just gets in the way of a tapping for Cole Palmer. And that was the kind of game where Chelsea, when they had that moment, especially with the offside goal, they kind of went back into the shell. Same with this one here. The goal didn't go in. Chelsea then started to revert back into kind of almost letting the game drift. And that's what caused issues for them. They, they were the only worst enemy, if I'm being honest. It weren't anything to do with them. With, um, Leicester, if I'm being honest, Leicester were poor today and they will be relegated. And they, bro, they've got a lot of players missing today, which I thought could have been, could have been, could have helped them in that aspect. But I thought for me, Chelsea, they got their second goal. Jackson in behind, header, keeper fumbles it. To be fair, it's a good save. And Enzo Fernandez gets a second. And then, for some reason, the game again still feels like Leicester have got one goal in them or one chance in them and then it game could be different and then for me i thought it was a penalty for Farno, that was a penalty for me it's clumsy it's knee to knee he doesn't give it cool but then i don't know who lets him through is it levi colwell let's um read through and he, he, he you know it's, it's, it's a foul and ultimately they get the 2-1 and then it's too little too late but chelsea allowed that game to become what it is a game where it was scrappy a game where it was you know not really showing their true potential in terms of a game that it should have really destroyed and dominated. I went for 2-1 before the game, but I thought Bonanet's going to start. I thought, you know, the, the main guys would play. Uh, what's it called? The guy, the brother that got a, a knee injury out for the season. I didn't know about that. So I thought Chelsea, 
we'll get a 2-1. And obviously they did, but that should never have been a 2-1 game. Chelsea should have took their chances. They should have scored more goals. They should have upped the goal difference. And listen, it ain't all bad. Chelsea are third and they've got a win here and they've got favourable fixtures. They've got Aston Villa at home who don't really do well away from home. But I need to give Enzo Fernandez his flowers. I've come on here several times and I've crashed it on Enzo Fernandez. I've called him this, I've called him that. But today, captain's performance. Today, for me, when it needed to be played, when it needed the ball to be kept slow and we, we dictate play, he dictated play. When it was time to zip it in through the lines, we zip it in through the lines. Winning the ball back, you know what I mean? Just showing that leadership qualities. He was present in the game today. You felt like Enzo was there today. You felt like today, it's not all, it's all Caicedo, it's all Caicedo. Enzo was there, assist and a goal. People say it's an easy assist, but still, still have to play that ball into to Jackson. And then obviously Jackson does what he does. And, and I'm not taking away from Jackson, but that's still an assist. And then you've got, um, what do you call it? Um, and then the head on. And I think he deserved it, honestly. He deserved that, 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 that for, and now he's got six assist and, and a goal in his four matches last four games so he is starting to to show a bit of quality he's just starting to show why Chelsea bought him for that money and why he's still young but the guy's still 25 man he's not like will he ever make it Chelsea become their prominent player I don't know but he's been a couple of slow burner he's not really shown his capabilities at Chelsea to the full degree but right now it's about just showing why because Lavia ain't gonna play every game Dewsbury Hall isn't going to play like this position should be really like you should be looking and thinking yo man, I need to take this opportunity you know manage to let them know man, I'm Enzo Fernandez you know World Cup winner starting in the, in, the, in the World Cup man done my ticket at Benfica man's a good midfielder like he needs to show it with himself same with Jao Felix again Jao Felix for me today balling out balling out bro I'll be real with you balling out like bro man put in a performance today Jao Felix like, generally, bro, he put in a performance today. Man was nutmegging people. Man was getting on a half turn and driving with the ball. Like, this is the problem with Jao Felix. When are you going to see that again? When is the next game where he's going to say, you know what, I'm going to turn up today? Like, it's easy doing it against Leicester, but now do it against the better teams. Now do it against when it matters the most. So, I thought the back line for majority of the game was good. Badia Shile deserves his mention as well. I can't lie. Badia Shile was excellent in, in his, in his, um, his quality as well, but... I think for me, all in all, I think Chelsea deserved to win the game, but they made it difficult. They made it more difficult than it should have been. They they generally made it more difficult than it should have been. That should have been an easy game for Chelsea. You coast through that, you do your thing, and you keep it moving. But they, they do. This is the bottom line, they do. You know what I mean? Like, as much as we go in here and we say, oh, but it was a poor performance, and da 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 you know, for me, I can't lie to you, they do their thing and they move up the table. And you know what? They go silent about their business. They go silent about their business. You know? That's it. They literally go silent about their business. Cole Palmer today wasn't great. I can't lie to you. Cole Palmer was not great at all. You know what I mean? Could have got a goal. Could have been a different story. But FPL is in the mud. But all in all, I was hoping for a hate along. I didn't come out with a hate along. And uh, yeah, I can't lie to you. Yeah, it's uh, it's a sticky one still. We gotta win our game, and uh, yeah, it ain't easy, guys. It ain't easy. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Chelsea fans and just general football fans, let me know what you guys think below, man. Because yeah, man, for me, that one there, yeah, man, it is what it is. What can you do? Take care.